can't get through. They've got well, fights. Well, why don't you want to talk? I saw it on CNN today. But why don't you want to talk? Some, I don't have a problem with talking. I'll tell you, why don't you, the populace, people in general, why don't you want to talk? I, what do you think? I mean, everything you said came absolutely true. C CNN took a poll, and millennials would rather text yeah. than speak on the phone. I don't know why. Why? Isn't that incredible? Yeah, well, this is no, it's down. not incredible. You predicted it. This is your downfall of humanity and society. And I'm, I'm trying to understand. Well, they, they're. They don't want. Well, look at them. You hold the door open for them, and they don't say thank run. you. They can't even grunt. They they grunt at you like like a, like a cave person. Well, I will I will say what I've always said and what Dan said too. Learn the hard way. Suffer the consequences. I mean, parents want their kids to be so computer literate, but at the same uh, time, now now they're complaining that they're computer, obsessed. They're computer addicted. But now they're they're obsessed. So first, you you want them to be computer literate like for instance when we were kids we had to take exams on paper we had to blacken in the dots with a pencil now all the exams are on online i told you that you know i told you the first computers ever were in my generation in the late 60s the first calculator texas I, instruments was my first one that, during an exam they said put your calculators away yes and you know what my teachers say? If your cell phone goes off, take it out in the hallway. Don't disturb the class. Everything comes back to us. Everything I keep saying, you can't get through to people. You can't. It's like that. You tell them, it, you're it's ignorant, like, you're a fool, you're a yeah, moron, but, yeah, you're but, not listening, but being, I can't reach you. But being obsessed with texting rep, it reflects their personality. What are you texting? But it reflects their personality. Which they have is, none. You have none. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, one napkin. Oh gee, could they spare it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, like it's it's sick. It's it reflects sick. the way they behave. It's Listen. like you want to slap them all over the face and stop it. Stop it now. Yeah, like if you say if you say something like complimentary, they look at you like, oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they come out wearing these super short shorts or whatever. Why are you looking at me? You know what's even funnier when the boyfriend gives you dirty looks, I right? Know, well, gee, your girlfriend or See, wife. I never did. Oh, my exes. I thought it was great when guys look at my girl. Are you that insecure where they can't look at your girl? What's wrong with you? And, right don't, and, right? and don't you know that your girl is dressing like that to leave? She, she looks good. But she's leaving the house like but I'd that. I'd rather you look at her and go, Ooh. Yeah, but I mean, they know that if a woman is dressing like that to, to go in public, they know she's going to get some form of attention, whether it's unwanted or positive or whatever. You know, the, the boyfriends, I mean, and the husbands. But these guys would get mad. Oh, they want to be macho. What are you, know? you looking at? What are you looking at? Your, your girlfriend. She's very beautiful. She looks nice. What do you want me to say? She's hideous? She's hideous, yeah, right. I mean, come off it, man. Who? Come off it. Tough guy. No, really. Well, by the end of this week, I think Thursday, the world will officially be in a trade war with the United States. India is joining by, by Thursday. Well, uh, thanks to Donald Trump and his tariffs. Uh, Everybody is tariffing the United States now. The best thing for the U.S. is to get rid of Donald Trump. He's uh, he's causing so much dissension and and and. Uh, Not, and they think he's divided the country. I said, hey, hot shot is going beyond the country. Our allies don't want a thing to do with us. The Trans-Pacific. Um, yeah. What is it called? The trans -Pacific? No, I'm sorry. Transatlantic Partnership. What do you mean the country? What about Germany? I'm sorry. England. Yeah. Uh, France. A whole bit. But he's crazy. Asshole and insulting Europe. Yeah. And and this, Canada. This guy is sick. The tra transatlantic partnership it's called? Well, Kim's a really tough guy. They're uh, willing to boot the United States out uh, of it. No, they're they're willing Hello. How was friendlies? Club sandwich? Where they have like a Fred Flintstone club between two slices of bread? Did you get? Did you get a lot of splinters? I wonder how that Harold's of New York is. My sister told me they're pretty decent. Where? 
the one by medieval oh, time. The yeah, yeah that's very they, good. they make the kosher, uh, yeah. the height, the the pastrami sandwiches, and the, the world's biggest selection of pickles um, and uh, corned beef, yeah. brisket. I love a high a high sandwich like that, especially if it's high quality brisket. You know, I love crunchy pickles too. Oh, I love pickles. Yeah, so you know, you know, or the tariff war, which means, you know, a lot of like India exports a lot of almonds and a lot of things. So they well, showed a whole not, list of all. It's the, not just India; it's all of them. Trump's got to getting in so deep he doesn't. Yeah. Well, it, you know what's going to do? Go blame the Democrats. Well, well, he always blames everyone else. He's but never for, wrong. He's an asshole. He never apologizes. No. Well, he can't. He said. I, he said, I have never asked for forgiveness because I've never sinned. Oh, is that so? Yeah, that's what he says. But I thought all man was born with the original sin of Adam well, and Eve. No. Suppose, but he's in it. But he's always innocent. Yeah. And he got out of the Vietnam War in the draft with five or six deferments from Daddy. I heard his mom spoiled the hell out of him. Oh, you did? I said I don't know much. Treated him like a king. He got everything. He, he everything. No, he wants. like a bitch queen. But that's a real asshole thing to say. Is I'm never wrong. I'll never. No, I know. I've never asked for forgiveness because I've never sinned. That's even worse than saying I'm never wrong. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing. Basically, I'm, I'm so perfect. Yes. I don't do anything wrong. So, so he'll never apologize. Forget about that. Yeah, have you ever heard him say I'm sorry? No. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, by the way, this is what we're giving mom. You remember Alistair's emergency? Allergen. Yeah. The uh, this is um, electrolytes. This blows away any sports drink, as far as the numbers go. It comes in packets, you know, you, you know, effervescent. This what one you, is... What are you asking? I know what it's going to say. What are you asking? Um, well, let me ask. No, but is Donald... Do you think Donald Trump pendulum is going to be the, the, the demise of the Republican Party? Wow, it... Yes. It didn't take too long to go right into a yes. It didn't take too long to say yes. Well, we're already in a demise. I told you, I think yesterday. Look at, look at this freaking crystal. There's something yes. about the, the the crystal quartz. I mean, holy moly! Look at. Look. I told you, I'm voting all the way down Democrat this time. Because my party little, has done nothing. little mysticism. Nothing. Yeah. How did so. you try yours yet? No, I've got to tie the thing around. I will probably this evening when I get home. The only thing, you know, I'm trying to remember where I got this cord because it's it's like waxy. So when you tie a knot, it stays. It stays. Well, I do a classic uh, navy a square knot, left over right, right over left, just to make you know. Would you get me? Oh, for me? No. Oh, right away a no. Okay. Well, she she gets food because she don't have to pay for it, which is good. Everything, all food that's free. Oh, why don't you go to the diner instead of IHOP? Well, all food that's free tastes better. Huh? Oh, oh there's a Carvel nearby. Yeah. Well, I forgot what you said. What did you have? I had a pork sandwich. Big, thick. Yeah. In fact, I took. I'm going to eat that tonight. I, 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 I do. Well, it. What club? Yeah. Four, yeah, the four, four thick Turkey pizza. Club. It's not yeah. the Players Club. That's for sure. I, I like their, I like Dairy Queen better than Carvel. They give you you get bigger portions. Well, yeah, well probably pay more. I too. gotta be honest. I like them all. I really do. Five dollars. Where the diner? Wait a minute. How could it be a lot if it's a small Sunday? The diner? I used to. I, I used to get the big strawberry malted milkshake, and, and you know, the, the, the millennial behind the counter would say, what's malted milk? I go, okay, um, <laughs> it's an extract of barley malt. What is well, malt? Know. Yeah, they don't know. Things are, you know uh, and then they go Give and- my friend, your husband, my best, please. Have a good Father's Day. Oh, that's oh, right. Bye -bye. Happy Father's Day. To your dad, God rest his soul. I, my, my father was an asshole, but you're, what's, I'm so oh, celebrate you're, your you father. Met my dad. Oh. I spoke to him one time. You did? I called your house. I called oh. your apartment in Ridgewood. You weren't home. This was back in the late 1980s, I yeah, believe. Had to be. And he and he, I, I had a conversation with him, and uh, he he was a very He's not cold logical, uh, 
common sense, no nonsense guy. He shot, he shot straight from the hip. Everybody loved Dad and Mom. You know, at that time, he was worried about you. Yeah. And, um, you know, that was back when you were in, the, in your partying uh, days. Yeah. You know, was, wild, kind of wild times, but not. Not that wild. But, you know, I mean, you weren't like a like a rock star, you know, almost ODing on freaking, you know, drugs and. Dick and mom and dad always said we never had to worry about you with drugs. But you did have groupies. Well, you had Bill Morrow groupies. No, who wouldn't? I mean, <laughs> was your man god? That's the idol of millions. Hold on, here's a good question: Is William H. Morrow the third really man god? Oh wow! Oh, it says yes. It's agreeing. There you go. Well, then I guess you're right. But just listen to him. He must be a man god. Remember at the uh, George Burns played God, but I don't know why they could have the, hired uh, uh, my friend. At the uh, Barnes and Noble up here, they all used to get those label makers and yeah. put out "Man God was here," and they put them all over the store. Oh my! <laughs> oh, is the franchise owner of this establishment cheaper than the previous franchise owner? Try not to crack up. He is. I'm not moving it, uh, ma'am. I'm not moving it. You can see, as you can see, he's cheaper. I didn't think that was possible, but I get. I guess. But are they running close, neck and neck? Are they pretty close, neck and neck? No. No. So this guy's a real cheap. He's a new owner. He's much a, worse. He's a cheap fuck, man. Is the new owner much worse? Ask it that. Is okay. Is the new owner of this establishment much, much worse, worse than the previous one? No. Yeah. Well, then it has to be next. Well, if he's much worse, he has to be. So they're almost the same in cheapness or stinginess. Yes. All right. That goes back to your okay. Okay. Is it good? I think. It's good, Eileen's out here. She grabbed that from you and sucked it right down. Um, the um, pendulum. Do you feel that the crystal does magnify energy, electromagnetic energy, no, more than anything? Well, the one I asked my mother. Do rock quartz crystals possess great powers? Okay. Did you hear, William? No, you hear that. Oh. Does rock quartz crystal possess great powers? Over the size of your yes. Do you think William H. Morrow sings the song in the summertime better than anybody else? Well, come get the old. There you go, right into it. There you go, I knew that one right away. See, no. You know what? And it's so pretty to look at Rock Horse Crystal, too. Yeah, you know what I mean? Come on. You know about the crystal skulls of, of the Mayans? 13. Supposedly 13. The crystal skulls of the Mayans, Pendulum, do, do they possess special magical powers? Yes, they do. There you go. You know what else the Mayans use? It's a stone called, uh, it's a volcanic rock called Black Obsidian. They, they actually made spearheads out of it, or I mean arrowheads, um, and it possesses, it possesses powers where if you stare into it, 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 you, it, you can do scrying, which means you can contact the spirit world, and you can actually actually communicate with I spirits. Asked, I, I do mine every day. You know, Nostradamus used a bowl of water. Yeah. Like a, a cauldron. I also asked the Ark of the Covenant. Is that an alien, an alien device and or weapon? Is the, was the Ark of the Covenant? Is, is. is the Ark of the Covenant an alien, an alien device and or, or weapon. weapon? Extraterrestrial. Mm -hmm. Same. Says yes. Well, this is a very special Father's Day because we're we're getting a lot of we're communicating with the astral plane, and this is really exciting. We have to talk to it like we're doing it. No, Lucy in the sky. Yeah, then it'll get pissed. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. 
anyway, it's not a gimmick. It's that gen- that gentleman was very nice to me, by the way. Who? That that man, that man with the with the white T-shirt. No, no, I mean he was compared to Joseph. Well, Joseph. No, I'm just, I'm making, I'm comparing. Joseph's like, Joseph's a, a grunter. Yeah. Now, so, Pendulum, the, uh, the, ask, ask him, is, the our, fe- is our friend Joseph, the Asian professor, have severe, what's the word? Attention deficit disorder? No. He can't communicate with people. Does he have a problem with communicating with the general public, Joseph, our friend does he, Joseph? Does he lack communication skills? Does he lack communication skills? Oh, that's obvious. That's obvious. He's, this is a this is a Joseph, the professor that does seminars for free. He gives away his knowledge for free. I don't know why. And he doesn't shave and doesn't wear nice clothing. Boy, he hates... What, did I, what was it called when I gave you good advice? Well, I guess good advice. Like it, Joseph, you know, it's like food. Presentation is important. Shave. He can go to a dollar store and buy razor blades. Shave. He can, he can get a packet. Got all these squiggly little hairs over. Listen, they sell. Huh? The Asian gentleman that sits over here sometimes. With the laptop. He won't shave they, well. They, he, he tries to get. <clears throat> Public speaking I mean, things, but he does it for free. I mean, for God's sakes, he can go to the Dollar Tree and get a ten, a ten pack of personas I don't for think, a buck. I don't think he knows how to shave, but it doesn't look good. It's your presence. Well, it's like it's like sex. I mean, you go in and I up hope, and down. I hope he doesn't go to these or in and out speeches he gives just wearing that damn vest. Nobody will pay attention to that. Oh, you just look so old. Unless school. unless your Professor Irwin Corey, the comedian, with his hair sticking up uh, in the air. But that was double talk. That wasn't really genius. You've got to learn genius. to be professional. My God, my father was one of the greatest public speakers in all of IBM's history. He said there was nobody better. Well, that's why he, he went the distance with IBM, like well, he did. just public speaking. He did everything for IBM. He built IBM. And I, be, and I bet he traveled abroad. Or not a lot. He did mostly in the U.S. He didn't want to go with y'all. What the IBM, IBM's division was called World Trade. He didn't want to be away that much. Pendulum. He wanted to go to McDonald's and eat burgers. Pendulum. <laughs> pendulum. I was. Oh, I had to do that to see if you were listening. I'm glad you are. Pendulum. I, I was. I'm thinking of dedicating my international food and drink group to the to the memory of Anthony Bourdain. I was watching his programs last night, and wait, wait. the food got me real hungry, but I felt sad. Yeah. Yes, it's a, it agrees. As Anthony Distafado passed away. Yeah, I know. We asked that. Uh, my old friend, our old friend from the past, Anthony A. Stefano, did he pass away? No. no. How come? My landlord, my landlord told me he died. But... Well, anyway, may, maybe maybe the pendulum needs to, to, to rest a little bit. Well, maybe it doesn't. Something's wrong with you. Well, you can't find him on a website or anything. I can't find the, uh, no obituary. That's weird. I have my, my aunts, my aunts and my um, my um, mother, no, my, my aunts on my grandfather's side of the family are obsessed with the obituary. They couldn't. They couldn't wait to read it, and couldn't wait to tell me who the hell dropped dead. It means what? Every day? Every freaking day. Oh, I. I, don't I said, what are you like? Morticia Adams oh, was okay. more positive than you people. Morticia uh, and what's her name? Uh, uh, Lily Munster. I found out a friend of mine, one of my teammates with the Jets, a good friend, Karen. I was sitting. I remember sitting in suburban diner. It was the day after Thanksgiving, about six years or more ago. I was reading the article, so I wanted to get the score of the original Paramus game. And that's what I found out. Before he and John Matuzak both died from the same brain cancer, from steroids and football, which I took too. Yeah. He said, I also took, besides what they gave me, $30,000 more of my own money for more steroids. No, oh, gee. They, their body didn't have blood. Their whole body was steroid. So where did you ever get this? It's a... You know, come on. No, I, I, no it, it, electromagnetic radiation. Uh, so. 
they proved that it's dangerous to hold your cell phone to your head. They didn't prove yet. Just, just like I threw away my toothpaste because the first ingredient, sodium fluoride, it's toxic as hell. So you're giving up brushing? No, I'm using hydrogen peroxide mixed with water. Oh, did you hear about that? Diluted. Dilute. Huh? You got to dilute. Oh, no. Hydro hydrogen no, that's peroxide wonderful. is deadly. It's wonder no, it's wonderful. But don't swallow, don't swallow. But unless, unless it's, well, listen, unless it's food grade, unless it's food grade hydrogen peroxide. They use over 30,000 plus extra dollar ex money worth, money's worth of steroids in your body. Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger took a handful of Dianabol tablets back in the day. Well, my steroid, when I was- 60s and 70s. When I was, you know, my, my steroid, they said this is, the doctor said this is brand new. It's totally safe. Are you listening? Okay. I don't know about that, bro. When state when six seven years ago, when uh, uh, Jose Canseco, the former baseball player, came out with his book, and the abuses of the juice or steroids and baseball, whatever, came out. He said one of the top two deadliest steroids in the world was the one I was on. Dec they, and they told me decadiabolical, decadiabolic, decadiabolic. It was totally safe back then. And it draws. So how they lied, and they gave us, well, they don't, yeah, they and they gave us, they gave us the amphetamine, which was so strong, it hasn't been made in over ten years. It it's reeks. Illegal. They don't make it. Hey, Billy, that's it's called the Black Beauty. Yeah. One was strong enough for the entire day. We were taking two a day. That stuff is reeks. Plus, they were giving us male testosterone. That's true. We were wired. We were huge. That stuff it wreaks havoc on the liver, man. We don't because it has to get processed by the Jimmy, liver. Jimmy, that doesn't matter. Back then they told us it was totally I, safe. I that's know, I heard that part. That's the only thing I can tell you. I heard that part. They didn't tell us, well, this is going to wreak havoc on your liver. They said, no, it's totally safe. It's good for you. And, that's do, and, and does anybody who runs a big business ever tell the truth now? Well, that's, that? that's not the point. The point yeah. is, the bottom line is, they told us it was totally safe. Right. That's it. That's it. You you were young. You were young. You were a young we, man. We played ball. You played football. Hey, it's safe. It's gonna make us feel great, and it did. I've never felt better in my life. It's too bad everything that makes you feel great is de deadly to you. Isn't that something? Well, you're supposed to cycle that stuff. You're not supposed to take no, they, they it don't, constantly. They don't, well, we didn't. The, the steroid. I asked my was every third week in the hip. God. The testosterone well, and the amphetamines were daily. Well, now they hit the sh each shoulder. You mean you're gonna keep going off the tangent? The point is, this is what they told us. I heard that part. Well, yeah, but you keep going off now. Well, they do. I, they do. Because I've seen nobody it. Nobody told us that back then. That's my point. Nobody. Listen, listen. Know, listen. Know, I asked my doctor. I asked my doctor. Back then, they just said it was totally safe. I, I asked my doctor of internal medicine, Dr. Ronald Rigolosi, about steroids. He says you're supposed to like cycle it. Like once, a, once or twice a year, you're not supposed to keep on doing it. But the doctors, Jimmy, my point, the doctors back then said this is brand new, yeah, it's totally safe. They or they or did. they didn't know and just lied to us. Maybe they, yeah, that's, that's the bottom, and the bottom line is, the bottom line is, we got it. Yeah. That's the bottom line. There's no argument, good and bad, do it and this and that. The bottom line is, they gave it to us, they told us it was totally safe. And you took it. And that's it, period. You know, so we didn't know. Oh, we we were ball players. You know. Now, of course, the baseball players in modern times they knew perfectly well what they were getting into. No. Uh, no. Uh, Jose Canseco, uh, Mark, Mark McGuire, McGuire didn't know. No. Well, the first time I saw Canseco ever as a rookie at bat. Sammy Sosa. Oh, look how he changed it. his face the whole bit. When I saw Canseco for the first time as a rookie at bat, he did exactly what I did. He couldn't hold his neck still because you can't. Steroids tighten the muscles so tight you can't. You, he was up at the plate like this. <clears throat> I'd be at the clubs with my buddies holding a drink going like this. Roger Clemens was a real big guy for a pitcher. So him too. Tight, muscular, big. Right, Roger Clemens. So I saw him on TV. And I said, that guy's on, that's all the juice. You see how big... again, you tell me again how Mark McGuire went from a little rail stick figure with the A's of 176 pounds, mm -hmm. the next year he's huge. Come on. You knew right away, that guy's on steroids. Well, even the size of Roger Clemens when he was with the Red Sox. Pitching, pitching, no less. He's a big guy. 
He's from, I think he's from Texas. University of Texas. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, big guy, he, you know, for a pitcher. But he's an asshole, too. Yeah, you were telling me his attitude oh, he's sucks. He's a jerk bag. I never liked his attitude. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's I not... I didn't like his Zest commercials. It's nice to get along with your teammates in the locker room. That That's usually a plus. Well, maybe he did. I don't know, but I, uh, he's an asshole. He's just a jerk. Barry Bonds is another example. Well, he admitted it. He didn't deny it. So when he broke Babe Ruth's record, he he, he, he didn't, well, like, same year he didn't hide Mark it. McGuire. That's why they're saying if they ever get in the Hall of Fame, there should be an asterisk. I mean, it was you know, yeah. added incentives to break the record for the home run record. I, I was debating with this guy that insists that Hank Aaron did was on the juice. No, I go, I, no, no way, no. no, not Hank Aaron. No. Hank no. Aaron started with the Milwaukee Braves and we went to Atlanta. Didn't have much back then, no. No, not Hank Aaron. You could tell by looking at Hank. He's, I mean, he was a you naturally can also, you can also tell by a lot. You strong can, guy. You go by a square jaw and you watch their movements when they get tight. I couldn't right. stand in a club with the guys. I was always or, flexing. Or what about the moon? My, my back was getting tight. Everything was getting tight. But what about that broad moon face they call well, it? Puffy. Square jaw, I just told him. No, 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 no. Jaw. Square jaw usually comes from uh, GH, growth hormone. No, no, it does not. No, no, no. It depends on the guy, but the ever the, the ever telltale thing is the square jaw. There's, there's this pro... Uh, and you get little white, white, white zits. There's this... Parts of your body. Oh, yeah, like upper back. Yeah. There's this it's, uh, it's weird. second generation um, pro wrestler that's on TV. She has a long jaw, like a Jay Leno, yeah. long pointy jaw. Usually... Well, that's wrestling. That doesn't matter. No, I mean, abusing GH does make well, your that's organs... that's hormone. I'm talking steroids. Yeah. And, uh, I'm talking about organs and bones that continue to grow. The steroids, they, they work. They work. Oh, incredible. without a doubt. Oh. Sure, without a doubt, they, they definitely work. I mean, it, was, it was incredible, the workouts we did. Well, the pharmacist at Walgreens says even... even Tranquilizers like Xanax have to go through your liver and, and, and can cause negative well, side everything effects. You, everything you go, that goes through your mouth gets like filtered through your liver, everything. It's like the oil filter on, in your car. It's a filter. That's why it's uh, I don't know. So the Oscar Mayer mobiles will be out there for a while, I guess. It has a move. The Wiener mobiles. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there's two Whoa. of them. One, one behind the other, yep. Could I get a photo of you in front of one of them? No. Like right in the center? <laughs> nope. And and you and you could say this is really how big I am. This is gonna go on. No, no, you do. You say this is really Jimmy, how big I'm I am. I'm not going out there. Well, I know you're not going to go out there. So why are you going? On because it's freaking funny. Man, God, say, standing Karen, in front of the Oscar Mayer mo Wiener mobile. She'll laugh about your hot dogs. <laughs> Jesus. It'll be funny as freaking hell. Especially <laughs> him Jimmy, saying, oh. "This is how big I am." <laughs> oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, that's just, that's just bad. But of course, like Andrew Anderson, all his jokes are funny, and everybody else is no, not funny. Okay, a truly funny joke is a truly funny joke. That's because I'm I'm doing the satire of him. That's no, why he's not. mad. Oh, don't put that on my ass. Don't do that. <laughs> that's bullshit. You're not doing a satire of me at all. A out of out why of do luck. You think I never even mentioned the hot dog. I said, "Oh, there's two of them." That's all I said. <laughs> out of fun. Out of fun. It's it's just out of fun. Out of fun? There's two of them. That's it. End of discussion. But you busted my chops about <laughs> about, about the guy being nice to me up front. The, the, the Asian quick, gentleman. And then I got out of it. Right. And I about and about my on. red shirt. And real quick. And then I got out of it. I don't go on and because, on. Because you kept on like... like no, I don't... I don't keep... I keep you trash in the idea. No, I just say, oh yeah, you are the original. One sentence, I'm done. Right, but with the, with the, the hot dog and thing. And you kept going on the whole story. Because, I, I, because of, I was, I was laughing. It was... And I know... You, I, see how I make one thing a sentence? That's it. But I know you're not going to do it. But that, make one sentence... Get out. Well, this is this is what, what it was. and this is what I told this old friend of ours, the old guy you saw in the car. This is what is called communicating with people. No, this it's guy not. wants to do short bits, but beep 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 beep, and that's it. Come on, come on, you're yeah. done. You know what you do? You do what my friend Matt does, and what everybody teases Matt from. When we got with Matt, when we used to have coffee and Ridgewood. Right. He could take the shortest story, and it drove people nuts. We used to all stand there, and they used to all go like this. 
Well, he must have really dragged it on. They said, Matt, get to your effing point. Oh, no. That, the Oscar Mayer mobile was, make, a, was yeah, a point. They told, him, they told him, make your point. That was a fast point. He stands in the middle and, and says, I told him, I said, I said, Hi, I'm man I said, Do you have notice when I tell a story back, Matt? Bam, it's over. He goes, I gotta learn that. He goes, I do go on, I do go on. I said, Yes, you do. Don't. You mean You're he, driving people? You mean he digresses? You're driving people nuts. I digress. You gotta stop it. Because we had educated people down there. And they were like, and is, um, You know what I used to hate? Is it be the and you know what else? You want to know something? And I said, no. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, we had the old guy that comes into the one I call Popeye, that Bob guy. That <laughs> Popeye. Out. Yeah. He and I don't get along. Well, he doesn't get along with anybody. Because you don't let him talk properly. Right? Because he's a moron. <laughs> and he goes, you want to know what I think? I said, no, not really. Oh, you said that to him? Yeah, I said, no, not That's really. That's not nice. He's not a nice guy. Okay, what, did he, what does he say that's bad? My God, Jimmy, I could go on. Everybody, I don't know him. Everybody that comes in says, that's an asshole. Okay, then, He's all, right, all right, I can't give you okay, specifics. Okay, okay. This and that. Oh. Ah, when, the, when air, the air was off and I went over. Ah, you complain about everything. Oh, he I said, said hey, that? I said, hey, hot shot. You're the moron that called corporate. Don't give me your Wait crap. Wait a minute. He said that to you? I said, don't give me your crap. Then he's an asshole. You're the one that called corporate. I said, you bitch about everybody, but when you do it, it's different. Don't give me your shit. It's no, he, that right no there. that's an asshole. He's right. Well, that's what they're saying. He's an asshole. Right. You complain about everything. I win. You come in here one day because you complain and bitched about something. And we had eight for one. And what happened when you got the heat on? I said, let's see how long this lasts. The next day it was cold again. I said, "You're a big hot shot, aren't you, buddy? You're a real hot shot." You shot right up. So I said, "You know, really." Yeah, because it's all right. It was all right for him to complain, but not for. Yeah, not, they said over here, the people said he will stab you in the back every single time, and this is his neighbors told me this. Sounds just like Andrew Anderson. They stabs you, and they said he will stab you in the back. So I, yeah, uh, but I'm the one that calls him out. You see. I'm the one that well, said, you were assertive. That was good. I said, I said you're a moron. They I said, smile in I your said, face. I'm the, I, I complain about everything. I tell them when it's too cold or too hot. You're the one that calls corporate. What's your point? And he shuts right up. I love that old song. They smile in your in your face all, well, and all the time. Want to take yeah, your I place? Backstab. Backstab. The, yeah. yeah. the OJs. He's a, he's a jerk off. He's a jerk off. You know him. You've seen him. He's the one I call Poppy. He's a real old lady. Yeah, I said, he up. almost sounds like the dude they used to pick you up once in a while and take you. To, and when your car was on the fritz? That's the old guy, Joe. He's a liar and a backstabber. He lies about everything. He cannot tell the truth. And, and his own kids have a problem getting along with him. Well, Danny passed away, I told you. Oh, but, uh, oh his other son will have nothing to do with him ever. Joe could never talk to him the whole bit. I called Darren one day, I got a call back from Darren in five minutes. Joe was shut, he was like, what? I said, I can get Darren anytime I want. He will not speak to Joe, something really happened. Back. Wow. Joe screwed them, those kids. I knew them both since 10 and eight years old. Sounds like my father, and not me and my, with me and my sister. Yeah, Joe, Joe, that's a lot worse than Joe. Joe's a scumbag. You don't grab the kid's shoes when the kids look at the soles to see if they really need new shoes. You don't come in on the last day or the night before when he's supposed oh, to go to Burton Catholic and say, his new wife, oh, Pam and I decided uh, we're not going to pay for your Burton Catholic. Oh, really? That's just two things. Of many. <laughs> so until you know somebody, I tell people, oh, he seems like a nice guy. I said, you've got a lot to learn. I said, you have no clue what I've known. I've known this guy for almost 40 years. He will screw anybody. When his parents told his, his brother growing up, don't trust this guy. Okay? Wow. What does that tell you? It says a lot. I said, this guy is sick. When his his grandkids, oh God, they can stand to be with him. Oh, they hate his guts. Pendulum, these very negative, selfish... No, no, no. Is Billy's friend, Joe Rizzi, a complete and total asshole? No, you have to ask it, Jimmy. I'm sure it hurt you. But you're the one holding it, though. Oh. 
Is Bill is, is, Joe is Bill, Rizzi? Is Bill Morrow's friend Joe Rizzi? A complete and total asshole. And I use that term loosely, friend. A complete and total asshole. Okay. As Billy says, is he a chronic liar? Is Joe Rizzi a chronic liar? No, I'm not moving this. I didn't say you were. No, I'm just saying to the, you know. All right, now, these people that are bona fide, natural born, selfish assholes or evil or, or just self-centered, self-serving, is there a negative force making them that way? Interesting. Yes. So, so what you're saying, Pendulum, is there's a negative external force making them behave and do what they do. However, all right. All right. However, are many people just born evil and cruel? However, are many people just born evil and cruel? Well, look at look at the price gouges in the drug company. Doesn't matter. That look at, just look, don't go into detail. Well, why? Maybe it likes my digress. You're gonna get off on a tangent again, like you do. Just don't, don't. Yeah, I'll start pacing and get. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. Just, just accept the answer. Okay. Um, do you think does the the price gougers in the drug industry that exploit terminally ill people are they sociopaths? Kind of what I thought. And what about our the politicians that are constantly on the take, with no remorse? Are they sociopaths? Don't, don't continue with your certain self. I, but I'm a storyteller. No, don't. You don't do that with that. Just start each one separately. Oh, it's like like the courtroom when you're in front of Judge Judy. Stop it and go right into the next Judge Judy don't want to hear too much. Yeah, don't go in by the way. And yeah, by the don't way. Don't continue at all. All right. Stop all right. each one separately. And, then, and let me give it a rest. It's separate. It doesn't need a rest. It's strong. Oh. Well, in case it overheats. Who doesn't do that, Jimmy? I'm kidding. No, well, that's not funny. All right. Pension. Don't, don't make fun of these things. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, 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 it's like a Ouija board. Don't yeah. Take it no, never mock it. Don't no, it. I'm not mocking it. I'm just kidding and all that. Don't do it. Okay, um, pendulum. Well, you don't have to say that. Just come right into the question. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm trying to teach you what I've okay, okay, okay. just seen for years. Go right in. You don't have to go pendulum. Oh. No. Um, no. What's your question? I'll tell you. Will we have a, a dry heat wave this week? Well, that's nice. That's good to hear. Better on the central air conditioning. Okay. Um, ask him broad questions like I ask him. Oh, uh, what did Billy, uh, Billy has always said and warned us that mental illness is so much more prevalent in the world than anyone realizes. Is that true? William Morrow feels that mental illness is so much more prevalent in the world these days. Is that true? Yeah, you got a Look how big that is. Well, look at the friggin' toxins in our food and environment. Well, that's, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I think it's just something to do with the human being in birth. Do you believe that for those that are religious, that we are living in the end days, the end times? Was Nostradamus and Edgar Casey were they accurate prophets? Okay. Oh, how's it going? Oh, Ty, good to see you, my friend. Nice to see Have a good you. evening. All right. Well, thank you. Bud. Oh, oh, I, one of the books I gave you is Edgar Casey book. It's, it looks like a good one. Okay. Sleeping prophet. You know, I think he's from Missouri. He's from the Midwest somewhere. You know, he used to, he used to get... He was just a simple farm, he was just a simple farm boy, Edgar Casey. And, well, uh, so what's that mean? No, but he had this ability nevertheless. Oh, but what, what you say, simple farm boy? Well, simple meaning not educated, not, not well, a, a whiz kid. How many, how many educators and dumbasses? So you get an education, eh, it doesn't mean you're so genius either. 
So nothing no. says you can't be on a farm, you can't be... No, it just, it just means you have the ability to memorize facts in a classroom. Some people, some people just... But they can't apply it. They get certain gifts. You just don't know. I only care about people that can apply knowledge and common sense. You know, I mean, big deal. You can memorize your textbook. All right, can well, you? Well, like they say, some people are very good testers. Others are very intelligent, but just don't test. Well. You know, my teachers told me in tech school that all, school. all the textbooks that that people have to pay for are already outdated. Well, f way outdated. Look how expensive they are. Yeah, but these are these are outdated. These kids in college are paying two, three, four hundred dollars for a textbook. A textbook? Oh, that's just. A are you kidding me? Talk about price gouging. You know that thing only costs dollars. To so this is not counting the right. tuition they have to pay their student loan. Right. Just school school um Heart. bookstore. My my one of my uh, mom's um, substitute caregivers owes twenty five thousand dollars a student loan. You know why she can't get hired? Because they, the companies won't hire entry level. They want to hire people that are ready to go right to work. You would think of training people in the job? They might, might have tremendous potential. What about apprenticeships? Remember them? They still have them. Not everybody. But what about, I see great potential in here. You can learn fast. Right. You, take, you take a student that got high grades, okay? You take a student with high grades, they graduated. Well, you have potential. That's right, you said. Like the commercial, Pinocchio, remember that? Everybody in this room... Well, that's wrong. That's why they got the long nose. Not everybody in that room. <laughs> has uh, some people untapped think. potential, some, is it? Some yeah. people have great potential. You have to recognize it as a true yeah. leader. Of, of course, uh, Tony Robbins can turn around and say, oh, I love you all, you all have wonderful potential, sure. because they're paying them. Because they're going to keep buying his books and CDs and DVDs, then that one goes further, that one goes further. My buddy went through all that. You can be a fantastic motivational speaker. Well, I would tell the truth. I was a motivational speaker when I was building Super I, Tech. I mean, actually get paid, not like uh, Joseph, yeah, not like Joseph. Super Tech and the people from the UN overheard me. And they said, I have never, ever heard a speech like that in my life. I said, oh, well, I'm glad. When I went to a, a meeting with... Plus your voice. Somebody. It was John Rokeach, maybe. John Rokeach. In Fort Lee, Fort Lee with a number of big investors. One of the ladies there, she owned a... a, 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 a brokerage firm. Brokerage right. Job. Smith Bond. When the meeting was over, I didn't say a word. I just stood up, and she, as I'm walking out, she grabs my arm. And she goes, nothing gets by you, does it? I said, I, said, I know everything that's going on at all times. You see, you, I said, I just don't give it away. You most likely have a high IQ, but school bored you. I think you were bored in, in classroom that's many times. That's why so many schools wanted me when I did the IQ tests at NYU. No stimulation in the classroom. But they showed with psychologists when they came in after five weeks, or I did it in three weeks. Uh, they come in with psychologists in this big report and tell your parents and the whole bit. They say, he's, he gets bored. If he's not challenged, he gets bored. I got a person, I, I, I'll bet you there aren't many on the planet that can claim what I got in the mail. Dad had big files too. Schools that wanted me without football and those with football. Anyway, we got a uh, I got a personal letter on, on the governmental seal signed by both from Monaco, Prince Princess Grace and Prince Rainier. Wow. To attend the University of Monaco for marine biology. They saw my report from the psychologist at NYU. Yeah, that was a damn good interest, marine it, biology. It all shows that I just didn't test well because I got bored. Archaeology is another fascinating. Well, my parents, yeah. you know, you're getting off on a tangent again. Because I like archaeology. I know you do, but why are you getting off on it? Uh. So, you know, they just... Uh, I digress. They see, your, they see your potential. There you go. It relates back. That you are very intelligent. You just don't test well because you get bored. It's that simple. You got, you got to put some O'Keefe on your hands. Why? Why? A little dry. They're a tad bit dry. Oh, please. I'm, I'm but you got it. No, oh, stop that 66. Route 66. We get our kicks on Route 66. Just, you know, you got it. You might as well use it. If I remember. I watched it so much. 
Well, when you took care of your dad, you were washing oh, your... Oh, my God. They were bleeding, remember? Not just that. Football. All the powders you wear, the winter, the weather changes, the whole mm -hmm. bit. My God. Oh, my, my God. Once, my body went through in the weather. So once the winds of November come early, Jimmy, my played, hands dry out. When it was minus 25 windshield. I played in well over 100 degrees many times. So I've had both extremes. You know, people used to be out there in the dead of winter. But that was really... That was really cool, hardcore football. People said, how are you throwing? It's just because of bottom. Um, what I was had, my hands were cracked, they were bleeding. I didn't wear gloves. What was the name of the, the old stadium in Minnesota that the Vikings played at? That was, uh, yeah, it was like Lambeau Field. It was out in the open. Yeah, it was all out in the open. Or so, I think Soldier Field in Chicago is still out in the open. Um, and the Minnesota Twins played there too. That was when everybody shared the same stadium. I don't know. I don't remember the name. Yeah, but they were sliding all over the ice and oh, snow. Oh, awful. That's not fair when they play a sport in. Well, both teams have to play. I said, that's not the point. The, that's not, the not, fans not, have to endure that, guys too. Guys can't play the game the way it's meant to be played in that kind of weather, both sides. I said, it's not fair to play in that kind of weather for any human being. I said, stop the crap. These guys yeah. make arguments. For, they, oh, that's the way football is meant to be played. It's at my ass. Because they like seeing people... I said, how shall I play 37 years? You show me any book where football is meant to be played in crap-ass weather. Now, why is it when the weather sucks? Defenders love it more. Because as a quarterback, it's hard as hell to throw a wet ball. Don't give me your crap, I tell them. I said, no. Don't give me this shit. No, they just, you have no idea what no, you're talking about. They, they just get off on watching and players slide around the field. and You're not watching a real... People have their best potential. And, and the ball's falling out so of your hand. What good is that? You weather, bad, as Dan said, bad weather is a neutralizer. Makes the, the better team play less. They can't, they can't do what they're great at. I mean, you think a thoroughbred racehorse is going, you're well, going to... Yeah, it did. Yeah, it just did. In, in Baltimore, in the, in the Kentucky Derby, and all that mud and muck. It the won. Preakness is... Well, it that's won. Maryland. Yeah, it yeah. won. It, so it did. It, it was a great... Mud, mud racer. Yeah, well, they call it the uh, the flats as opposed to the trotters. The flat uh, horses like cool weather. You're getting off on the horses. They I'm like cool about weather. The bad weather. They ran in yeah. one or three. Yeah, you like animal stuff. I like oh, horses. I'm an animal but I'm saying horses love cool weather. They love to run in cool weather. Mm. You know, they run in everything. That's They're why the Meadowlands has the thoroughbreds in uh, in the fall. That's why it's, you know they run in everything. Yeah. We think. Yeah. yeah, I mean and they don't run that often anyway. So, yeah. I still say I still say riverboat gambling on the, the Delaware and Hudson River would be a great idea. Well, if nothing, they, there's nothing yeah. new. No. Oh no, not at all. I mean, the they've flat had, bottom they've boats. Had Mississippi for decades. But people were getting drunk, causing trouble. Well, they had they had gambling on the around the old Manhattan and everything else. And so that's nothing new. Yeah. You had it. Not it wasn't. You mean like by New York Harbor with a Statue it wasn't of Liberty? Stern wheelers, but it was regular ships, and people were getting drunk, and that's what they said. That's enough. No more gambling. They needed too much security aboard. Well, you know, just stop destroying people's property. You're getting drunk, getting off, and pissing on people's land. Stop it. Finally, he said, he said that's enough. Yeah. You want to ruin it for everybody? Consider it done. You know, la last October, I took the Circle Line for the first time in my life. After seeing the commercials since I was a little kid, I was, I was, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, New York Harbor, Statue of Liberty, all that. You know, the uh, Lower Manhattan. Yeah. Oh, gee. All right. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.